All right, guys, uh, we just had Hurricane Helene come in, and I know a lot of people have generators, and a lot of people are trying to get their generators going. I know people bought, like, tons of them. There's, like, all kinds of them flying off the shelf. They keep getting more and more pallets. So one important thing that um, a lot of them, like, they kind of tell you but don't quite tell you, they say to check the oil when you first buy one. Well, they put a little bit of oil in, and the little gauge that they give you, like the one on this one, has like no numbers, no nothing. You don't know if it's full or not. We were wondering, do you need to fill oil? And the answer is yes. You, If it will not start, it will not do anything. They put a little bit of oil to make it seem like it, but if you try to check the dipstick, you don't really know where it's supposed to be. So you got to make sure when you all generators you buy, like right here is the oil fill. They give you this like tiny little gauge thing, which like I check it, I'm like, okay, does you know what does that mean? Well, the the answer is you you need to add oil. Yes, this one you gotta check the package of the one you bought. This one needed 0.6 uh, quarts of it, and if there is a low oil shutdown, it will not start without it. So make sure that when you pick up a generator, you grab oil too and put the oil in, because that could be why your generator's not starting. Where are you going to add oil on this specific one? Usually it's exactly where the dipstick is. If you got a little funnel or whatever, it's a lot easier because this is not really the best place to get at it. But you put the oil right in there. A funnel helps a lot. And, um, you know, one thing I would suggest is probably put the oil in before you add gas because, you know, a lot of times when you got to tip it up like this, the gas is, you know, it's either going to spill or gets a lot heavier and makes a mess sometimes. But you can add it if you need to. Um, after you put the gas in, but just make sure you're not spilling it all over the place. One more really important tip is when you're done with your generator, this is the most important thing. Unless you're putting ethanol free gas, which is kind of hard to find, it's expensive sometimes, it's not always what you have. Normal gas has ethanol in it, and you don't want to leave that in your generator. So when you're done with it, you either need to run your generator out of fuel or find a way to uh, either siphon the fuel out or just drain like one of the little uh, gas line somewhere where you can get all the gas out because you know you're gonna have a hard time next time starting your generator if you do not do this make sure you get rid of all the gas that you can